Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another video on Star Smash. So, um, I play a lot of Star Smash, believe it or not. I actually play pretty much daily. Um, probably one of the very few people who still... No, actually, there's probably plenty of people who make videos on it. At least as far as I know, I'm one of the very few who continue to play it. Uh, and who was an English speaker. And... <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I was actually not very surprised about it because they're apparently renewing the entire game. So, what does that actually mean? Okay, so let me quickly read this down again. This is Japanese to English, but I think it's pretty clear what they're saying. Thank you for using Star Smash. We would like to thank you again for your various opinions and requests. Since the service started in November 2020, we've been operating with the support of all of you. But we are aware that there are some areas that we must make efforts for improvement, so you will be satisfied. As a result of various studies, we've decided to renew this summer to review how to play the entire game. What does that mean? Um, so... The way it's making it sound, about renewal of the whole game and reprint of the event. So let me continue on. In order to focus on the functions development of the renewal, we will mainly hold reprint events without adding new cards during the development period. Even if you haven't participated in events for the first time, please enjoy it. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused to all users due to the specifications changed due to renewal and the time required for the development. We are planning to deliver a complete new Star Smash this summer. Please wait a while. The contents of this notice are under development or subject to change. We'll inform you about the specification of the renewal later. So, what does this mean? Believe it or not, this is not the first time I've seen this happen. This has happened in two other cases that I can think of. Actually, three, now that I actually think about it. It's actually something that's fairly common. Either way, base Star Smash wasn't doing it for him. That much is pretty much clear. I really like Star Smash, but there's no denying that there's exactly one thing to do. And that's play Star Smash. There's nothing else. The events are nothing. You can basically get the grind character pretty easily, but once you have the grind characters, there's nothing for you to really go out and do. Um, there's only one kind of event in the entire game. It's this. And then if you want to count, um, if you want to count uh, time attack, I don't because it's just a way for them to get more money off of people <laughs> because they want you to pay the pull for the super hype character thing and to use like princess and the frog was one of them and then recently was bambi which just made me angry especially since they made bambi limited for some reason um but besides the way the game actually plays there's also been from what i can tell from what i've been looking at from japanese people players people leaving negative reviews of the game is that they are not happy with the way that the game functions so currently uh, the way that I understand it is that it's really weird to them that there's no other voices but Mickey in the game. Um, they have all these awesome Disney characters and not a single one of them makes any voice noise at all from their respective movies. Um, the only one you hear is Mickey and he goes, you know, it's nice to hear Mickey, but you don't hear, like, for example, Beauty and the Beast. You don't hear Beauty, you don't hear Beast, you don't hear the Beast roar even or anything like that. That was something that was always kind of a problem with them. The specific event types has been a problem. The the randomness of the time attack has also been a big thing in their craw. Specifically because it really seemed like it wasn't fair to create a mode in which randomness was the main problem. Was the main thing. Like, I eventually figured out a way for me to get a perfect run in the most recent Bambi thing, but it didn't matter because the final stage was completely random because it was four hats, and if I picked the wrong hat at the beginning, it completely screwed up what I wanted to do, so it didn't matter what I did. And then if I didn't get the team attack, then it also screwed me over. There was, like, so much RNG for a mode that you don't want any RNG in at all. It just made it an extremely frustrating thing. So they're probably renewing Star Smash, and I've also looked at some of the... Um, mobile data based on how much money they made and they made actually really decent money um in the beginning and there was a lot of people playing and then people kind of stuck it out through aladdin and then after aladdin once they saw that the entire kind of thing was just releasing these events every two weeks this wasn't happening just wasn't happening for it and they've had it's clear that they've had to go back for it so this is the current roadmap. Let me quickly do a quick thing. So they said summer, so when is that? Probably on the 6th is when we'll actually hear more news. This says new feature, but I don't know what the new feature is. One moment as I quickly Google Translate. 
at times like this, I wish I knew Japanese, but I don't. So give me a sec. Let me see. High difficulty stage rush. Okay. So probably a new high difficulty. That just means that they're just gonna no. That's not a new feature. I I don't consider that a new feature. We'll see what that means, but I don't consider that a new feature. But let's look at some of the other stuff for the roadmap. So obviously we're gonna get the Lion King event, but after that, it's a new event is Lion King, and then right afterwards it is Aladdin, followed by more Aladdin, followed by let me see. And in the snow, Frozen, which is good for me because I have the Frozen characters. Al Alice, so it's literally following the sand, similar um, way of going. What is this snow day? Country girl. Peter Pan, there you go. <sighs> a lot of these old events. And then this is a time attack. I don't know if the time attacks are completely new or not. They actually didn't make any mention of banner stuff from what I saw, um, which makes me seem like they're just going to strengthening support campaign. And the thing underneath this time attack is strengthening repost. And then the final thing here is I think where it says more news coming. Update information in June. Oh man. So let me go down here. So there's actually an apology, um, the story will stop, they will renew it after the renewal comes out, so they at least continue to plan the event stuff. We will distribute the following items as apologies for taking time to renewal and as a thank you for enjoying Star Smash. Everyone who logged into Star Smash before the renewal this summer will get 3000 which is basically a free multi, uh, which is good to get, and it will be until the maintenance that happens, so basically in two months from now. Again, I really do like this game. I don't know what they need. There's obviously, there's a lot of things that they need to do. Um, I think this game kind of released half finished. Not even half finished. It actually feels like it was released one quarter finished. Um, I don't know how much of the coronavirus affected their plans, but it's clear what they released in this modern day. Like take for example, another game that was released pretty early on that's been in development for three years, Umasumi. Um, pretty Derby, which is currently still number one, which shows that I think the new era of these mobile games are the ones that kind of Fring things through. I think this specific game was made in an era where something like, you know Dokkan could exist, Fate Grand Order could exist, where there was just a base idea and nothing much else um, There's a lot of problems with the game for sure I really do think that it has an awesome art style. I really do like collecting the characters, so I hope that they are able to renew it into something good. Um, I'll keep following along with it. I think it can be kind of iffy. The examples I can think of, for example, that I was I keep forgetting to mention at this point. One was Ore Collection, and the move to Ore Collection 2 completely killed that entire thing. Made it just ter terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, hopefully it's not like this. The other one I can think of is Bounty Rush. Bounty Rush had a very, very bad launch, and it was a completely different game. Um, and it's currently, currently going on, you know, and it's a better game than it was at launch, so I def definitely think there is a tried and true method of kind of releasing these style of games. Um, but, hmm, it's tough, man. It's just really tough. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Hopefully, I don't know who's going to be watching this because I don't know how many people play Star Smash. I know it's me. I'm covering this because I care about Star Smash. <laughs> I wish there was more for me to make videos on, but there really isn't compared to a lot of other gotchas out there. There's like just so there's only so much I can do. Where it's like, yeah, it's this event, except for they changed the banner or they made this worse. They made this better. I really thought like making a video based on Bambi because I thought Bambi being limited is some utter horseshit. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking, making Bambi limited. There's no one... I don't understand it. Because if the next limited one of these style banners comes back... Like, if they wanted to make Bambi a limited unit, they have festivals. Just make them a fest. I already feel like there's one festival unit inside the fest unit, which is the Valentine's Day one, that doesn't deserve to be a festival, and it's a festival. So, I don't know. That's the end of today's video, everyone. Um, I will, guess, keep track of how Star Smash does, but... 
a lot of renewals going on. So, till next time, everyone. You guys have a good day. Peace out. <laughs>